Okay, so this is Real Racing 3 on the Pi 4 uh, 8 gig model, and I'm going to try it to see if there's any difference with the 8 gig model and the 2 gig model because I think this is pretty much the best looking game I've had on Pi. I can't believe this runs on Pi 4 and it looks as good as it looks. I haven't played it for ages, so let's, I don't know if I've got auto brake on or not. But you can see it's incredibly smooth. I don't know how to get FPS up on this, uh, which I would have done if I if I knew how to do it in the game, but a lot of Android games don't seem to have FPS. But you can see it looks incredibly smooth, really, really nice. Uh, it's very uh, responsive. The graphics look super good. And all the menus and everything work very quickly. Uh, there's just no slowdown at all. It looks, to me, it looks like a console game. So let's just quickly watch the replay, see a bit of that. It looks like it changes the camera on its own. See even some smoke effects. The sky looks amazing. All the trees look pretty detailed considering everything's moving so fast. And I'm using it with a wired Xbox 360 controller, so I'm getting the proper console experience. Uh, I'm just using it on a 28 inch uh, ordinary monitor but I'm sat really close to it and it really doesn't look that pixelated at all, it looks pretty smooth. So let's quit out of that just to show you that it's uh, running on Lineage OS. This is the ConstaKang version, the version that supports 3D uh, and I've just been blown away by the performance and I need to go through some more games at some point that I've got to run on it and how well they run but Real Racing really stood out. So what I'm gonna do now is shut down and restart same OS, but on my two gig Raspberry Pi 4, not my eight gig one. Oh, F5, and then power off. Okay, so it's booted up. Uh, I did a previous video uh, running emulators as well, so have a look at that if you wanna see how well they run on Lineage. But it is, it's a really good operating system for Pi, especially for games and emulation. So let's go into Real Racing 3 and launch that. And this is what I get. So it actually crashes out, which is weird because Real Racing 3 says minimum specs two gig of RAM, um, but it gets to that point every time it crashes out. So I'm gonna try it on the four gig Pi, but just while I've got the two gig Pi running, let's, let's try a couple of games. Uh, so I've got to grant storage permission. So you can play this for free. You can see that I'm controlling it with, well you can't see, but I am controlling it with the controller at the moment. Oh, we've got the, um, we've got the weird graphic glitch. Now this is just something that uh, does seem to happen. You see the colors are slightly off. Uh, there is a fix for this and it's in one of my lineage videos. Someone's put it in the comments section. This is what we're used to with Android look, a bit of adverts. So the colors are, <laughs> it's Avatar. But that wouldn't bother me. I would be happy to play it like that. Straight in with an ace. So you can see this runs well. I don't know why my opponent's not doing anything. Let's give him an easy serve. Try some of these other shots, what have we got? Oh, little lob. Let's finish this guy. Oh. <laughs> Maybe not. So, it's blue, but it works fine. And it would be blue on, on all the pies without that uh, graphics fix. Ah, here we go, back button quits out, which it often does on Android. So that works fine. Uh, I guess we try one more game. I can't remember what GTA Liberty City Stories did work all right on the eight gig, I think. Let's just try it quickly. Audio's great. I've got all this on the lower settings it will let me let me do.
So that quits out as well. That's interesting. So some games it just seems to give up on. So I think what I'll do is boot it up on the 4 gig Pi and see what see if those games work on that one. So uh, Alt F5 and power off. Okay, so this is the 4 gig Pi uh, and let's go into Real Racing 3 and see how that copes with it. So it looks like on the other one it was when it got to the Xbox controller uh, that it quit out. So it registered it and then it quit out. Game controller, there you go. Looks like it's gonna work because there's the car. Looks just the same as it did on the eight gig. I can't do FPS, unfortunately. I did have a look through the settings and I couldn't find anything on it. So keep racing. Enter. Yeah, all the menus work nice and fast. So that is, that is a strange one that it just rejects it on the two gig pie. Um, there's obviously something it can't cope with when it gets to that particular stage. It's not even running the game, it's just in the menus. Right, so we've got a lot more cars to contend with this time. All the same. The graphics still look great. It still looks like a console game. Yeah, there's, it doesn't. It doesn't. Oh, it doesn't feel like it's slowing down at all. Funny, I'm doing this. I've, this is the second time I'm doing this because the first time the screen capture I didn't press record or something didn't work. And also, I I wish I could show frames per second because it feels incredibly smooth. It feels like 60, I would say. Now my video will be recorded at 30 because I up the resolution to get a better YouTube uh, quality and it'll only let me do that at 30 FPS but it will still be decent oh nice corner in that so all the effects you know the sunlight on the the sunlight on the track and everything like that it's it all looks really nice So it looks like at this stage, the 4 gig one is the one that's looking the best. I still haven't found something that the 8 gig one is needed for at the moment. Obviously, hopefully as Windows 10 goes on and maybe we get GPU support, it might be uh, something that shows up in that as that's a heavier operating system. Obviously, Android is quite a lightweight operating system, but you are increasingly seeing Android phones with ridiculous amounts of RAM. Uh, and you kind of wonder why they would need it on a phone. iPhones still use really quite low levels of, I think I've got four gig on my iPhone XS. Yeah, so that is working perfectly. So let's hit home. See it comes straight out of it, straight into the menu, no slowdown. Let's try GTA uh, and see if that's working on the four gig. I don't know if I should have shut down the, um, I don't know if I should shut like, down the real racing game or not really. I don't know. Android, I think, works pretty well with uh, managing uh, open apps and things like that. Yeah, it doesn't seem to have been affecting it. And so this is the Android version of uh, GTA Liberty City Stories, which I bought from the Google Play Store quite a while ago. I, I bought it to try on an older Android phone. And it's a great game. Really, really plays well. This looks a bit weird. Oh, it quits out. Right, okay. Or did. Now, I'm just going to try that again. Okay, so it quits out to the menu, So, uh, but I'm not sure if that's GTA that's doing that uh, on all of the Pies. I have definitely had, had it running and I've been playing it, but uh, I'm pretty sure I might need to reinstall it because I'm, I think I had that before. Anyway, so I hope you like this. Uh, I found it interesting and I'll continue to test games and see how well the 2GIG model compares to the other ones. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.